Hi, this video is for anybody that wants to use Steven Slate drums for a live performance. Now I was trying to figure out a way to be able to switch through kits in between songs and not have to actually go over to the computer and move the mouse and double click on the kit that you're wanting to have and actually set up maybe a kit chain that you can go and scroll through for a live performance. So this is for anybody that's wanting to do that. First, let's set up some things on the screen. So first, let's look at our Steven Slate drums here. So we have a uh, track. This is in Logic. Um, so this might work in other DAWs. But for right now, we're just going to look at Logic. Uh, this is what we're using. So uh, we've got a channel here with Steven Slate drums loaded on it as an instrument. Um, and then we're now looking at the instrument panel here. So it comes with all these uh, kits, and it's, they're divided into categories and everything like that. And you actually have to select the category and then double click on the kit to get it to, to load. And you see now it's loading, and then now this kit is loaded. Okay? Um, and so what we were trying to figure out is a way to do this live. And I could not figure any MIDI control change that would go to these different programs. And program change was not affecting that either. Program change would not go into this instrument here and actually go through these um, presets. So what I did was save out each one of these presets that I wanted to use and even when jamming what I did here is uh, when we're jamming and writing I went ahead and saved out all of the Slate uh, Deluxe Rocks and so as you see here we've got Rock 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and so on <clears throat> and now I can scroll through those on my um, Rollins and I can use either a Roland pad or the knobs. So then for our live situation, the, the kits that I actually want, we have made some live kits here. You see there's stage one and stage two and stage three. Stage one is rock, stage two is th uh, tech, and stage three is, is for the ballad at the end. So um, how you do these, uh, if you're just, if you're unfamiliar with it, I'll just show you real quick. So say Let's go into some funk, and if we wanted to have funk, and if that was going to be our next track after the ballad, we're going to reprise with some funk. Then we just load the funk. <laughs> so now we have vintage funk loaded, and then you come to here at the top here and just save that as a new preset, and you can call it whatever you want, but we're going to call it stage four funk. Okay. Stage four. And I'm going to put it, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to put funk so that we know what we're hitting. There we go. And so now, now we have stage four funk, and that'll be in our list here. Okay. And so now let me show you how, how, we've, how we've scrolled through some of these kits. Um, we'll just, I'll go to stage one rock, and now this is going to be a, a live situation. Now after you have your preset saved, we have to set up what MIDI control is going to change this preset to the next preset. So let's just real quick, we go, you hold the Alt Option key and then hit K, and that will pull up your key commands inside Logic. And if you search at the top right and just search Next, okay? And then down here you'll see a bunch of things that comes up with Next. And this one right here, Next Patch Plugin Setting or EXS Instrument. By default, it's a keyboard that goes um, with the bracket. So of course you could take a wireless keyboard up on stage with you, but we're going to do something that's a little more reliable. So what I've done there is all you have to do is select it and then click Learn New Assignment. And as soon as you click the Learn New Assignment, hit the, hit the MIDI message that you want to do to change this. So for example, I used this symbol trigger input so that when I strike the top of the symbol, it will go to the next preset. And if I hit the edge of the symbol, it'll go to the previous preset. Notice that's been recorded here. When you strike any MIDI command, it's going to record it here. And after it's recorded it, then you just uncheck it or it might just uncheck itself. And then if you want to make sure that you set up your previous, type in previous in the search box, and then you'll see previous patch. And then you see that I've recorded the edge of the symbol. And so I don't have the symbol going to any particular noise um, or sound. But if you wanted to, so if you wanted to switch it and hit the crash at the end of the song, and then it automatically starts loading your next instrument, that would be beneficial as well. So anyway, this is very important. Now you can do anything with these. You notice this other 
um, assignment here, control change, that is the knobs of my Octopad SPD30. So I have the knobs, uh, the knob, the third knob to um, go to the next one and the second knob to go to the previous. And that's what that one is there. So now that we have the control uh, set up and we have our patches set up here and we've got stage one um, set up, let me show you an example of how this is going to work. So now that we have things set up on the computer, we can move to the stage and go through our presets for our live show. Stage one rock, by the way, is Platinum Deluxe Rock 13 with a couple modifications I've done. For example, I put my own sample of hand claps here. So let's say we're playing a song with stage one rock. Song's over, we go to our next kit. And here we go. Now, our big ending hyper ballad. Here we go. What did we add? Oh, our funk reprise. Here we go, all set. And we're out, just like that. Now you can use Steven Slate drums for live performance.